Wait a minute, this is Death Must Die, and I saw this on Steam, and it looked like a game similar to Vampire Survivors, and if you've seen videos in my channel before, I do like to play these types of games. I think it stems from all the way back to Get Geometry Wars, I think that's the game. But yeah, uh, Death Must Die, I played like Vampire Survivors that looked like Diablo, one with VTubers, and this one, it reminded me of Hades. So, it seemed really interesting, decided to pick it up and try it, so here we go. And I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested. So, let's play. I don't know how hard this is. This is still in early access at the time of recording, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, this is the House of Death. I wasn't expecting to find grass. So, we, so, so we normally attack instead of an auto-attack. Okay. Don't know if there's gonna be a... Auto-attack option, but... Sure. Music's nice, for now. You can also dash, and it's indicated by the yellow pips above my head, as well as the the yellow pips on the bottom of the screen too. But I think the the ones on, the ones on the top of the head are easier to see for me if you're in a pickle, <laughs> right? Trying to avoid these yellow hands. I love it up. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? Yeah, the voice acting too. Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals. So allow me to lend a hand. The artwork's nice. So yeah, Vengeful Strike, tri Trial, or Trail of Fire, Breath of Fire. Good game, or good games. Vengeful Strike, although I haven't played it in a long time. Maybe I should pick it up again. So yeah, Vengeful Strike, your attacks become stronger and apply burning. Your dash leads a path of fire, and every few attack hits, you breathe fire that damages and burns enemies in front of you. Well, I, the Vengeful Strike seems just like a strict upgrade. Well, we'll go with that. Oh, we can do more. Okay, so there's like more info too, but we'll go, we'll go with Vengeful Strike. I don't know, like, what's the good builds, so we're just gonna go with whatever that seems cool, I guess. Oh, we can walk through trees. Alright. I'm s I see orbs on the minimap on the top right. Is it lore? An item. I should pick it up. Alright, I picked it up. Don't know what Did I just Oh so you can you can you can knock projectiles out with your attack. That's cool. I don't think any other game I played of this type had that. Or had that. Could be wrong. I just probably didn't unlock like the character that does or something. Oh, I'm Summer, by the way. The goddess of all the hot stuff. <laughs> Fires, volcanoes, you know it. Alright. So yeah, Vengeful Strike 2, Meteor Shower. Meteors fall from the skies, damaging enemies and burning the ground. 8.4 second cooldown. And incineration, burning enemies leave a fire where they die. So you get plus 18% more damage. Meteor shower seems helpful, so let's let's get that. Although I might be oh I got hit. Oh this is good. This isn't good. I wanna get to the other orb. I mean at least if that is autocast, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm getting hurt too much. I need to get to the other orb. Is this it? Shrine of Music. A calming song can barely be heard from underneath the stone. Saying, gain 600 pull area. I assume that's like the magnet stuff. Mockingbird hum. Enemy barriers are reduced by 24%. And just strict. The uh, passive experience gain. Let's get that. See, the, the, like passive experience gain just seems nice. Oh, we have a boss. Is there a way to heal? Alright, trial fire, vegetable strike, and then flare. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, there's a chance you shoot out a firebolt against your attacker. 45% though, I mean, I, I assume it goes higher, but let's go with the Vengeful Strike. There, there is 
Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I have, I have dash. I forgot about the dash. Oh jeez. <laughs> At least the dashes recharges relatively fast. Okay, we got. Uh, we, oh, oh, I was gonna say we got him. Now we got him. <laughs> the damage increase is so good. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. Ooh, breath of fire expert. I think I should pick this one because it's expert. <laughs> All right. I'm doing good. I granted. My health could be better. I don't know. What are those? Like, I don't know if there's a way to... Like, I wonder if there's, like, health drops. So, we got Meteor Shower, Novice to Adept. Or Increase Breath of Fire. Let's do this, because it reduces the cooldown. Oh, they dash. Alright. I guess that's their movement. Okay, this is gonna. The breath of fire is really good. <laughs> I mean, the it being purple level also helps as well. We got monies. I didn't even notice the monies before. There's someone, there's someone's experience I'm not picking up. I mean, that, that's... That's how this, these types of games go, right? Oh, that's health, that's health. Yes. So the, so there are health drops. I don't know. What kind of legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? So I wonder if, like, the goddess or gods that there are are randomized and we just happen to get the fire one. So got incineration, burning enemies with fire, the vehement, vehement, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Your spell damage is increased. The meteor shower for more projectiles and damage. This is, I think this is overall better. Oh, I'm trapped. Trapped with slimes. Oh, the, oh, oh, that's a lot of slimes. That's that's actually a lot of slimes. Yeah, that's actually a lot of slimes. <laughs> Is that a nest? So many slimes. So much experience, too. <laughs> This is actually pretty nice. The experience gain. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit too. Oh, I gotta, I gotta level up. It's Trail of Fire Flare. This might be actually good. There you go. Vehemence as well. Do I get that? And, oh, they knock back too when you level up, so that's nice. They're about to attack me. Fire's dead. Slimes are dead. Let's get the experience and get to the gold orb. What is this? Feel no harm. Can you come to side like invulnerability temporary invulnerability? Sure. Oh the enemies are strong now. Or oh, the white ones are. <laughs> Ow. Well, I'm gonna die. Just a uh, sneaking suspicion. I could just run away and get the passive experience, do all the work. But that doesn't seem very intuitive. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no, no. that's good. Here oh, there's a new I one. Cast you with defeating death. For this, I reward you with my powers. Now God of obey. conquest. Alright. 
So your shurikens, enemies hit by your attack shoot out rupturing shurikens. Chains of War. Your attack hits have a chance to create a chain that rotates around you for a limited time, damaging, rupturing, and knockbacking enemies. And we got blades. Rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing. And so this feels like the like the whole the the Bible in Vampire Survivors, or it could be. Oh, unless the old dice is like outward. Let's go with shurikens. Why not? Seems nice. Because it's always on hit, too. And since there's like mobs of enemies, shurikens will be, always be nice, I think. Could be wrong. Oh, you're not a boss anymore. <laughs> Where'd the boss go? Oh. I need health. <laughs> Oh, there's a boss. I'm just, I'm just killing him through burning, which is, <laughs> which is pretty neat. Burning, oh. Yeah, he's gonna burn to death. <laughs> oh, orange experience, nice. All right, we got breath of fire upgrade, meter shower upgrade, vehemence, vehemence. Breath of fire seems really nice, honestly. Let's get that. So I guess our objectives are to, well, we don't really have objectives just to survive, but the bear, ooh, I don't, dash. Oh, oh I didn't have to dash in time. I, think, I guess those are true first boss. The other ones were just like elites. All right, all right, that was, that was pretty fun. Probably didn't get the right combinations. I also died some, or got hit a few times, but apparently there's a, a hub. So we got the little present. Hi there, your efforts to gather books from the underworld haven't gone unnoticed. These books don't mean much to me, but perhaps they'll brighten your time here. Okay. Do we put the this back? So there's three of these, we got two. Sending mail. Tara, there is there's a mountain of invitations to be sealed. Or Candyman, I can help, I'm good at looking. Tara, that might take a long time. Or Candyman, no worries, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think this leads into a different situation. Something that's animated and adult. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't realize we we got armor, but I didn't even equip it. <laughs> and it seems like it persists through death, so... We'll keep that in the library. I guess we'll keep that here as well. Sure. I, I have a feeling the armor would have helped. <laughs> just, just a hunch. Is there a map? There is no map. Okay, back to where I came from. Maybe I should have explored the other areas first. I don't know. What's this? Gaze, the scenery up here is morbidly beautiful. Okay. What's over here? The irony, the entrance to the underworld on the highest peak. Okay. So I take it we can't go back. <laughs> There's one more. It was a long climb. Glad I brought enough rope. Oh, that was me. Okay. So if we die, we go back here. That's good. That's, I mean, that's fine. So we saw the library. I forgot what unlocked. It like went by really fast. Okay, so what is that? There's a chest here too. A stash. There's three tabs. Okay. Our hourglass has brought you back. Time. <laughs> Step into the water once more. Let's do one more. 
We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. <laughs> it's just like it's, it's what these guys like just just one more, <laughs> just one more try. Yeah, that that's what reminds me of Hades. Maybe I should, maybe I should enter the water. All right, is it the same? Oh, there is an auto attack. Good to know. I didn't I didn't notice that before. So I wonder if we will keep. I wonder if we lose what we wear but keep what we stash in our inventory. Cause that that seems to be the case. Ooh. Maybe auto attack would have been better. I don't know. I mean, we, we, we love the heat. Those of them that can, anyway. All right, ventral strike, breath of fire. Ventral strike at the beginning seems nice. I, I don't. I feel like auto attacking is nice, but it it might not be nice later on. Could be wrong. We also got money, but I haven't seen a place to spend it on. That probably could change in future runs. What's this? Bronze Brazer. Persistence. Okay. We got the bow archeries. Bow archers. <laughs> Still eventual strike. No, oh, oh, that was close. Mineral spring, so I assume that heals me, right? Peace of mind. Oh, well, that gave me something else. So every second gain, or maybe that's, is that because of that? Or, I don't know. In any case, I used it. <laughs> A lot of skeletons. Nothing I can't handle. We leveled up. The path to victory oh, you're here. Littered with the fallen. That was fast. So we got normal shurikens, chains of wars, or blades. Let's do. Uh, shurikens help, but I want to try something different. Let's do. Let's do blades. Oh, so it's definitely not like the Bible in, or the Holy Book in Vampire Survivors. It's totally something different. We just dominated him. We got a belt. We got B. Let's equip it. We should equip it. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize it in the first run, so... Now that I know to equip things, probably should survive a little bit longer, right? That sure that blade is very useful. <laughs> oh. At least I don't get hit by my own stuff, which is nice. Why I'm doing this? Do we need a reason to set things on fire now too? No. <laughs> See incineration, burning enemies, leave a fire where they die. Might be nice. Whenever it starts attacking, there's a chance to shoot out a firebolt. Your dash leaves a path apart. Let's do incineration. Because we, when we attack, it causes burning, so. They will always leave behind a thing of fire, which, especially during the ooze. That might actually be really good. Alright. Beyblade. <laughs> it reminds me of Beyblades. Wow, oh, this is fun. Wait, like some part. I like these types You've of games. Oh, that's a new one. From the others, haven't you? I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him, though. Mind if I join? The joined? Bleak Goddess. Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, okay. Personal reasons. Personal reasons. <laughs> So we got necromancy, execution, and soul stealers. You raise skeletons when you kill a number of enemies. Skeletons raised from cursed enemies last longer. So, oh, but they they have limited lifetime. There's not it's not like permanent skeletons. So whenever you kill an enemy, there's a chance that it spawns a weak experience shard. 
Cursed enemies have a higher chance of dropping experience shards. Okay. Let's see. Your attack hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. Enemy enemies stay past to become cursed and lose a percentage of their current life. 11% seems actually pretty nice. But... I think skeletons seem pretty fine. <laughs> Watch it be the weakest of the three. <laughs> First time playing. And 20 some seconds is actually pretty long time in this and in a game like this. I don't I didn't read if there was a limit to the amount of skeletons I can summon or not. If there isn't, then cool. If there is, then yeah. Probably should have picked another one. We still got the health here, so if we get hit we're still good. We haven't really had to use the dash again, unless if it's against the boss or the elites. I was wondering, do we get hit if we touch them? No, we don't. Oh, that, that's interesting. Because in all the other ones, we would get hit if we even touch them. Neat. Oh, here comes the, the ooze. The Reaper level. does not listen to the harvest, so maybe it's high time he started. Area necromancy execution and sickles of mort. Every few attacks shoot out sickles. They deal damage equal to a percentage of your attack damage and apply your attack statuses. Yes, please. Go forth, my skeletons. Don't die. Oh, here they come. I assume we can't touch the black fire. <laughs> yeah, the fires are just melting. <laughs> They're just melting the oozes, which is... That's a good thing to have. We're handling these oozes a lot. Oh, look at all those skeletons! So I guess there is no limit. <laughs> nice. I do need some help, though. It's not that bad, but it can get bad. Now oh, there's a new one! Curious. You are so intertwined with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. Wasn't, wasn't there a game on Steam, like a free game on Steam called Moirai? It was like, it was like a, a good social experiment from what I remember. There was a lot of YouTubers playing it back in the day. Will you fail or succeed? I said the Maybe it'll nice. be one of the others. Oh, sorry. They haven't arrived for you yet. Oh, but it would be a shame to see you fail. Really? Perhaps we <laughs> could fudge the numbers a little. Fudge and oh, critical strike. Your attacks have a chance to deal 300% damage for 8%. Your attacks hits a wider area. You gain more dice to alter your god offers. I don't know what that means. Like, we get more. I, I guess we get a reroll, but. Wider area seems good. Crit, crit seems actually pretty good, too. Let's get might. Alright, the skeletons, the fire, the Beyblade we got. Seems like it's doing work. I haven't seen a new... I mean, I really should explore since I'm not seeing... I've been going around in circles, then there's no yellow stuff to pick up. I want to see when I die if I get to keep... Oh, I should have dodged. I should have dodged. Let's see if I can keep the, the stuff I've been wearing or if it's just inventory only. Because if it's an inventory, maybe I'll just store them last minute because it pauses. Maybe. Alright, incineration, vengeful strike, meteor, vengeful strike. I do need health. Maybe you will drop 
Oops, on the Ooh. The skeletons do work. We'll meet again, yeah, probably. No, you didn't drop anything. Or I guess you dropped experience. Because I think I'm about to die soon. Oh, that was fast. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. Where are the fates? Glo, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring stuff. <laughs> all that well, boring I, stuff. Isa, snip snip with the scissors when the time comes. Snip snip. <laughs> I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that. Who knows? Sure. Oh, master level. Vigor, master. Maybe I should have saved the might. Maybe I would have got a master level might. Let's get vigor. More life is good. Oh, you're, you're here. Did I not? I guess you aren't. Technically, you aren't a boss. Go back to where we started. One down, two down. Oh, there's an experience shard. Oh, here's where I died. Oh, there's an uh, area. Oh. oh, wow. That hurt. That hurt. Recharge, please. We don't have any dashes. This is, I mean, we're getting there. We almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. Careful messing with your fate, mortal. You are but men. Gods dictate your paths, not you. Or those despicable criminals. <laughs> Okay. So, let's get more blades. Another level, nice. Let's get incineration. I should know, vengeful strike please. But we need more damage. Also, we picked up some more items too. Let's see what we got. So we got war pact. You deal more damage to enemy barriers. Chains of war, your attack hits have a chance to create a chain of... Let's get this because it's expert. I don't know if there's a limit that we can get in terms of different skills, but sure. All right, so we also get this 50 armor plus three banished dice, 39 armor plus 15 life. Oh, so it seems like once we equip it, it's like bound to our character and there might be, there might be different characters that we can select. Like this one's a knight. Maybe there's like an archer, sorcerer, what have you. Anyways, there's some that's night only, so we'll keep this in our inventory because this this seems fine for now. All right. Ow. Ow. Don't die now. <laughs> Whirlwind Beyblade spins. <laughs> Maybe I should have the one that increases the the shield attacks on shields. Ow. Ow. <laughs> no, this is not how I'm dying. <laughs> There's so many of them. Okay, we got experience. There's another one. Ancient chest. We got a tortoise shell. Hell, please? No, just gold. Maybe we'll get experience from them. 
we're almost a level. But, yep, we leveled. Again with the why? I've always helped out mortals. Who do you think gave them fire? <laughs> okay. Combust. When you kill a number of explosion damages and knock back nearby enemies, your cell damage has increased. I think that might be useful. I need health. <laughs> Because the spell increase increases with the fire as well, right? Oh no. Oh, that's why you shoot three. Alright, we got some boots. Five hour, two movement speed. Movement speed's nice. So is the burning. <laughs> the burning, burning is really helpful. So let's get Necromancy to expert. Seems good. Alright, what do we got? Life link. Your dash drains enemies, healing you if you're below a certain life threshold. Execution. When you kill an enemy, there's a chance it spawns. Let's do life link. I need them. I need a heal. <laughs> oh, that seems too. Oh, that's that's also not good. <laughs> well, the life link doesn't seem like it's healing much, but. It is what it is, right? Every little bit helps. I feel like there's gonna be a boss. Also missing all these... Oh, health! Health! Oh, I just lost all the health. <laughs> uh. Doesn't seem like I'm gaining that much. I mean, I am gaining health, it's just not a lot. It's not super broken. <laughs> Serendipity, you are luckier. Necromancy. Uh, luckier seems good. I don't know what that entails, but... I need to get rid of you. You've been hurting a lot. <laughs> Got Forge. Forge a nice gain 20 armor. Gain 24% attack damage. Attack damage. Stone of power, please. 100% damage. That seems good. Seems good in my, in my predicament. Alright. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Ow. I'm still getting hurt, though. Life. So we got ravens of pestilence. Spawn ravens that attack enemies applying cursed. I mean, small damage, but it, it still helps. Your attacks have a chance to spawn phantoms, or when you kill enemies, spawns a weak experience shard. Let's go with ravens. Alright. Things are getting a little bit more hectic now. <laughs> I need to get rid of you. You're, you're annoying, spawning those archers. Alright. Not seeing any more yellow orbs I'm also missing a lot of these oh no what are you this isn't good I can't see my palace oh oh no like the health is negating some damage but I'm still getting damaged. <laughs> I got the greaves at the very least. Chains of War, Bloodlust, you gain attack speed with each ruptured enemy. Rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing and damaging enemies along the red level 2 or level 3. Oh, Chains of War. A lot of rupturing, a lot of hurt. Like, oh, uh, the healing is helpful, but... I 
This is circles. Oh, magnet, magnet. That that's so helpful. Chains of war, please. Oh no, I, I should get I should get a blade to blade the attacks because it gets ruptured. Oh, I, I'm so I'm so stupid. I should have gotten the attack speed one. I should have got the attack speed one. That's ugh, that's so bad. What is this? No harm can come to me. I shouldn't. I, sh I still should play it safe, though. All right. Bl yeah, bloodlust. Because we got, we we make rupture with our whip, so more increased attack speed seems pretty nice, given that situation. Alright, Chains of War... You deal more damage to enemy, but nah. I know I said that before, but... Chains of War. So do a rupturing, pestilence, bleeding, healing. <laughs> we're fine. We have some... We have pretty low health, but we're... Oh, the Necromancer. That's... That's not nice. I feel like we're gonna die. Given our health... Given our health... <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I should have. I should have hit the. I should have hit the fire. Oh well, that was fun. Chains of War did work. And the necromancy. Oh the the necromancy was just it was just a different skill rank. The, yeah, but the chains of war did work. So cool. So let, let's see what persists. Oh, we're a different person now. So. Oh. I did not expect a living guardian at Death's Gates. I'm no guardian. Just went out for some fresh air. I was told to expect others. I suspect you are the first to come. First to come? What are you talking about? It might take me a while to explain everything. So, you want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only one can wield it. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I guess we don't get to choose. <laughs> we don't get to choose at all. So we got Scriveneers unlocked. Whatever that is. Maybe we can choose here. No. No. Can't be equipped, can't be equipped. So it looks like the the inventory here is shared and it still persists. Same with the gold. But I, I'm, well, I'm willing to bet whatever we wear persists as well. It's just that it's going to be equipped on that character. So obviously you won't be on this character. So interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that that's there because we didn't take it. Okay, the scrivener or oh, achievements? Scrivener? No, oh, that is a scriveners. So we got Aberon, Maris, and Party. Okay. Maybe we'll do more of this. This seems this is this is fun. Like I said, it, this reminds me. It, it's it's in the vein of Vampire Survivors, but it reminds me of Hades so much. I really need to go back to, to that game and play it and play more of it. Hey, we're, we're just gonna leave this here. I'm gonna stash all this because I can't equip it. They're all heavy armor. So yeah, like I said, I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested. Oh, that's how we switch. I think. Apparently that's how we can like equip and unequip stuff. Okay. But once... I guess once we wear it, it's bound to that character anyway, so. Yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.